Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, YouTube. It is six o'clock in the morning, Sunday morning. Um, refeed day, excuse how I look. I uh, not long been awake, to be honest. I've not really slept. Um, I don't know if I was a little bit over caffeinated yesterday or just really hungry. Um, and the excitement about eating today, I just sort of kept waking up throughout the night. Spent a solid from about two till four in the morning, just awake and it's sort of nodding on and off. And I've eventually just got up at five. Um, came downstairs, got the dog out of the crate and thought let's just go for a half hour stroll. Um, waiting on a Morrison's food delivery that's going to be coming between half six and half seven. Um, so I'm sure they're normally, you know, the earlier time, half, half six, I'd imagine. So yeah, I just thought I'd come out and get a little half hour in. Um, I've not weighed in yet. I've not done any of that yet. I've not taken on any fluids. Um, I'm just going to wait a few hours. I find if I try and weigh myself early in the morning, like before six, my body's not really finished doing what it needs to do. Um, I never think it shows quite a true reflection on my actual body weight. So just gonna get moving, get some juices flowing a bit more. That doesn't sound very nice, does it? Um, and then I'll weigh in, do my posing, uh, and send all the updated photos and stuff over to Ross with my weight. And then I will get my macros for the refeed, but I, it's looking like it's going to be at least 500 grams of carbs. Um, so that'll be nice. Got a few meals planned out already. Uh, but obviously none of that will start getting eaten until I've done my check-ins, my posing and my weight. So I'll probably see you back home uh, in a few hours when it's time to weigh myself in and uh, yeah, get all this shopping and that in. Also, not feeling 100%. I've got a bit of like a, <clears throat> a chesty cough and stuff. So maybe that's why I struggled to sleep last night as well. Right. See you guys in a bit. Kevin here. Right. Okay. So back from the little half hour dog walk. It's half six now, so the uh, food shop should be turning up any minute. I uh, just wanted to show you, you know, what being on prep's like, living with someone who's not on prep. They buy goodies like these. Double chocolate mini bites. Chocolate cornflake mini bites. And then our personal favorite. Every Sunday, no pre-prep, we do something called manwiches, which is like a thick white bread, um, ham, coleslaw, lettuce, a mustard, gherkin, uh, crispy bacon, and chicken. A proper thick sandwich with these crisps from Marks and Spencer's, salt and black pepper combo. They are unreal. The best, the best flavored crisps ever. But not for me, not at the moment. So yeah, wait for the shopping. Once that's here, unpacked, I'll then um, weigh in, go outside, do my poses, just wait for it to brighten up, which you can see it's a bit dark, so I'll come by the window, it's a bit better lighting. Do my poses, and then from there, Ross will tell me calories, macros, carbs. And start eating, start filling up again. That that walk was real tough. My legs felt really, really heavy. And even holding this camera, my arms are burning. So I know there's not a lot in me. Be interesting to see what the weight says. I actually haven't been to the toilet for a day and a half. I didn't go yesterday. And I went the day before, but in the morning. Um, so I feel a little bit bloated. So that's gonna hold on to a little bit of weight. Um, but that's sort of why I wanted to wait a few more hours before I got on the scales just to see if you know any toilet did happen so I don't have any fluid I don't have anything to eat 
obviously that's just going to put more food in the system. Um, so I'll just wait and see now. Um, but I feel the leanest I've ever been. Uh, checking photos will say that. At this point, the weight is not really important. It's more about how I'm looking. Um, obviously, this morning I will be very, very flat, uh, totally depleted, um, and no, no pump at all. Um, but that is, you know, what we need to see. And then, as the food goes in, we see how I'm looking over the next couple of days. That's the idea of a refeed. So it's not, it's not the the day that matters. It's the day after that and the day after that because that determines when you're going to refeed and how much carbs you'll refeed on going into the show. So I'll see you in a few hours. It might not even be a few hours. It just depends on the shopping. And I'm waffling because I'm a bit tired. It's a terrible night's sleep. Right, see you soon. It's all too exciting, isn't it, mate? He's only going shopping. <laughs> he He's loves shopping. it when the Morrison guy comes. Okay, it's so uh, half seven now. I've uh, had a shower, spruced myself up a bit. I'm now going to uh, weigh in, see what we're weighing in at, and it's outside for posing. Okay, so finally in the 70s, 79.3 kg. So that is a very, very good weigh-in, very good check-in. Oh, what a relief. Um, yeah, and that is if without going to the toilet all day yesterday. Last time I went was um, Thursday morning. No, not yesterday. It was Friday, Friday morning. So I reckon I'm probably 79, 89 point something, the high eight. Uh, High 78 point something, so that's good, really good. So I'm gonna go check in outside now, the sun's come out, um, so it should be a little bit warmer. So I'd just like to leave it a little bit longer because it was a bit cold and horrible this morning. Right, let's get going. Okay, so tripod, camera set up. I stand just there, same spot every Sunday. Get the check-ins done, get the posing done, and uh, yeah, send the photos over. Then we get to eat finally. I'm very thirsty as well, not had anything to drink or eat yet. And I've still been up since five. <clears throat> still looking a bit tired. Get this done, and uh, let's eat. So what I'm going to do today is, uh, as well as obviously show you what I'm eating, I'm also going to go through some food prep stuff. Um, uh, getting set ready for the week, so that'll be uh, that'll be good. Come along for the ride. I will probably put some photos somewhere at some point of the check-ins that I'm doing now on my phone. Uh, so yes, see you soon. Oh God, I am so thirsty. Uh, so uh, what I do now is I just sit and I uh, look, run through the poses that I hit um, and then take some screenshots 
send them over to Russ. <sighs> and we'll get some food in me. Hungry. So yes, I will be back shortly with an update from Russ and hopefully a nice big bowl of cereal in front of me which I'm just gonna oh, enjoy. So that's it. We've got the macros. He sent them over to me. And it's good news. So carbs, 600 grams, protein 150, and fats to stay under 35. Oh, I can't tell you how, how grateful I am to, uh, for Sunday refeed day. It makes this push and grind through the week worth it. So I'm gonna have some nice cereal now. Uh, and let's get going, let's get eating. Um, Oh yes, I need a coffee as well. I need to wet my ass up a little bit. But the good times are coming. So we are going with Oreos. Mixed with all brand flakes, still getting that good fibre in. So 100 grams of Oreos, 50 grams all brand flakes. So it almost seems absurd. Beautiful big bowl of cereal, which I'm I'm really going to enjoy. I've been craving it for ages. Um, so cereal got 100 grams of uh, Oreos cereal and 50 grams of the All Bran. Then that's with 200 mils of unsweetened almond milk and a coffee, which is the Beanies Sticky Toffee Pudding Coffee. So that's 579 calories, 104 grams of carbs, 6.7 grams of fat, and 16.3 grams of protein. So I'm gonna sit and enjoy this. Watch a little bit of TV. Just have a nice chilled Sunday morning. Never had these before. Mm. That's nice. Mm -mm -mm. My appetite the last couple of days has been weirdly flat um, but I know once I get the uh, the juices going and the food's going in it's gonna just gonna snowball and snowball in a good way though I'm gonna still obviously stick to my macros but the more you eat the more you just want to keep on going all right I'm gonna chill and then we'll see you for the next meal or for the next bit of prepping that I do. Um, I'm going to try and upload these videos onto my laptop as I go as well. Just so I know where I'm at. Ah, oh, first meal going down. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, prep dinner. But at the same time, this will be uh, leftovers for in the week. So what I've got is 1.2 uh, kg of chicken breast and uh, Schwartz chicken tikka curry blend. So I'm gonna make a um, like a creamy chicken tikka um, marinade for the chicken. So I'm gonna chop chicken up, cover it with some fry light, add chicken tikka, let that marinade, and then I'm gonna get some Greek yogurt out low fat cheese, um, cream cheese, and then make like a creamy chicken tikka sauce um, to mix with the chicken once the chicken's cooked. So that'll be real, real nice. So I'll uh, get started on that now. With 
for a billion pounds of property sold in the last year. We sell your home for free at strike.co.uk. Strike. Feel free. But you must enter by midnight tonight. Last month. Okay, so that is the uh, chicken marinating in the uh, chicken tikka seasoning and now I'm going to make the creamy tikka sauce, so healthy, low fat, creamy tikka sauce which once that chicken's cooked under the grill, I'll then mix it in with the sauce I mean that's got to be cold before you mix it in with the sauce um, so yeah, let's get started on that Right, so there's four ingredients to make this uh, creamy sauce. Faye, 0% fat yogurt. Philadelphia, lightest Philadelphia. Fantastic on the macros. And then lighter than light mayonnaise. Again, fantastic on the macros. So we'll put this in into a bowl with the ticker seasoning, mix it up, and then you've got a nice creamy low fat healthy chicken tikka sauce so 500 grams of the fire yogurt 100 grams of um, the philadelphia lightest in with the light and the light mayo for 70 grams then in with the more ticker blend. So I start with 20 grams of the ticker blend. Give that a good old mix. Mixing up there nicely. So there we go, we got chicken with the chicken tikka seasoning which will go in the grill this will sit here keeping uh, nice and cool marinating uh, once this chicken's cooked and cooled I then mix it in with this nice creamy delicious um, tikka sauce so I just wanted to add uh, this will make six portions okay so Six portions is 328 calories, 9 grams of carbs, 3.8 grams of fat, and 60.9 grams of protein. So you've got the chicken breast, the fire, the Philadelphia, the light and the light mayo, and the tikka curry powder. Okay, so the chicken is all laid out, ready to go under the grill. So we'll get that cooking and just let that cool down before mixing it in with the nice creamy, creamy tikka sauce. So that is the chicken all cooked. That's just going to sit there now, let that cool down. Once that's totally cooled down, I'll then mix it in with the creamy sauce. Um, and jobs are good. Right, so that is the chicken um, curry made for later this evening and for uh, later in the week. So have some of that more tomorrow. What I want to make now for lunch, something that I've really been uh, fancying, is egg fried rice with Chinese curry sauce. Um, so I'm going to give it a bash at making a healthy egg fried rice using predominantly egg whites as the egg um, mushrooms, onions, sweet corn, rice obviously and then I've got this Coleman's uh, Chinese chicken curry but obviously I'm just gonna use the sauce and not have any chicken um, yeah so it should be good let's get this show on the road 
So a quick breakdown of the ingredients. Uh, 250 grams of uh, mushrooms, 200 grams of onion, 300 grams of easy cook rice, 250 grams of this carton of egg white, so half the carton, one whole egg, one tin of sweet corn, and then the whole sachet of this uh, Chinese um, curry. Um, and 15 fry light, sprays of fry light to uh, cook it all up. So that's all the ingredients. So the veggies are all cooking down, the curry sauce is on. So it's 300 ml of water with the whole packet in. Rice is coming along nicely. No, I won't add, add the egg into that till near the last minute because it will cook super quick. Um, so yeah. Now all these meals are just off the cuff, like I've never made them before. They're all just things that I've sort of, you know, put up in my head and fancied. Um, just thought I'd, I'd, I'd give it, give them a go. So, I just track the calories, track the macros and make it work, really. Um, but uh, yeah, I've never made an egg fried rice, I've never made this curry sauce before. Um, just giving it, giving it a bash and hoping for the best, really. <laughs> That's all it is, it's just an experiment and I, I do really enjoy cooking. Um, yeah, that, that chicken uh, curry stuff that I made earlier was something that um, I have seen someone do um, before. Um, um, my coach Ross mixes the fire yogurt and cream cheese together the mayo so I thought I'd do that with the the curry spices um, that seems to be seems to be work worked well so just don't be scared to get in the kitchen and just give things a go um, otherwise you'll never know never know what you can do really you can create some really delicious dishes um, that are healthy and tasty but you just gotta get get yourself stuck in there Right, so I've added the egg now to the uh, vegetables. That's all cooking up nicely. Um, just waiting that rice, and then I'll mix the rice in with the veg and the egg. So this is what it's looking like at the moment. Curry sauce coming along nicely, thickening up, and the rice is ever nearly, ever so nearly done. So a lovely big plate of homemade egg fried rice, sweet corn, cool mushroom and onions, and then curry sauce, which is gonna go over the top of it and it's gonna hit the spot. Can we just take a moment here to appreciate, to appreciate this meal? Oh, look at that. Look at that. I've not explained to you how long I've been craving that. And to have it here in front of me. <coughs> nice and healthy, homemade. Absolutely amazing. So it is my biggest um, hit of the day, calorie wise, this meal. So 951 calories, carbs 159.9 grams, fat 13.3, protein 40.5. Ah, oh, so I'm gonna sit and enjoy this. This is uh, delicious. Yeah, I'll be making this again, definitely. Bosh. <clears throat> I told you when you once you start you'd be surprised how hungry you are I've gone from 900 calories nearly being my daily intake to having it in one meal <sighs> that felt great yeah so just to clear up any confusion 
all of those ingredients, uh, that wasn't all on that plate. That was that was half of the ingredients that I just had. The other half was for my girlfriend, um, but that will probably last her uh, three portions. <laughs> um, so yeah. Ah, oh, that was fantastic. That hit the spot. I'm gonna get a nice uh, couple of glasses of water in me now, and uh, probably have a snooze because uh, that's dumb. It's been a busy morning cooking and meal prepping and stuff. Um, I haven't got anything else to do, cook really, apart from tonight uh, with my uh, chicken stuff. I'm gonna have some uh, green beans, munch two, sugar snap peas. Uh, and then the chicken stuff's gonna go on top of a jacket potato. That'll be my dinner. But it still leaves me a thousand calories left. So that'll be filled up with some breads and jams, cereals, some sweet things, uh, just to bump those carbs up. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, just like, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, food is such a wonderful thing. I don't get people that like, not, are not fussed by food. It's awesome. It's so good, nutritious, flavoursome, joyousome, all the feels. This is going to carry me through. Wait till you see me Wednesday, Thursday, and I'll be dead on my feet again. But uh, just can't compare this feeling I'm having right now. It's the top of the world. Uh, bang on track still. All the macros are looking spot on. I'm fully full. And uh, I'm a happy, happy man. <laughs> right, I'll probably see you in the next one because I'm not really doing anything today apart from resting and eating. So I'll see you in the next the next meal I have. But taking you through the calories, taking you through a refeed. Um, Six hundred grams of carbs, no joke. It's now. 20 past two, halo top peanut butter um, flavour, peanut butter swirl, I think it's called. And uh, me and the woman, we're just sitting down to watch Sing 2. Not Sing Sing 2 yet, Sing 1 is pretty goddamn good. We love an uh, anime sort of film, don't we? So, Sunday chills, nice ice cream. Oh, yeah. Never had this before. That is peanut buttery. 100 calories. Um, I'll give you the macro breakdown a bit later. But that is very good. Very good indeed. Ruby was everything. And I don't like honey in my tea. I'm feeling well fed. So, I had those snacker jacks a little while ago, some jams on, what, two with apricot, uh, one, two with uh, blackcurrant jam. I ate half of one before remembering to vlog it. And now sitting down to a meal, I guess it's number, number four, I guess. What have I had? Cereal, the rice, the, the lolly, the Snacker Jacks, now got the chicken curry that I made earlier, um, on top of a jacket potato, with a portion of uh, Monge 2 and sugar snap peas. So I'm going to eat this, watch the football, I've not watched any of it to be fair, but it's the final, you can't not watch the final. So that'll be good to watch, and then there'll be one more meal um, later this evening. Uh, I'll be going to bed pretty early because I've got to be up at four for work tomorrow. Um, so it may be some toast and jam. I might have porridge oats though. Fancy some porridge oats with some honey and stuff. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, dig into this. Oh, I also, but I didn't vlog it. Um, had two of the mini chocolate. Uh, mini bites like Swiss rolls and two of the chocolate uh, cornflake mini bites. <laughs> they were good, they were real good. Right, anyway, I'm gonna crack on now. Okay, last bit of the day going down. Um, we have got 
100 grams of the Oreo uh, cereal, 50 grams of raisins, 20 grams of honey, and a my protein oat bar, um, oat bake. So that's it, that is the refeed, totally done. And uh, yeah, I'm ready to get this down me. Feel quite full to be honest. Uh, but I don't want to eat too late um, before going to bed and stuff. So yeah, that is it. I will put the macros um, for the whole day up here. I think I've got slightly over. Um, but that's just how it sort of come together. But it's a refeed, so it's not going to make a great deal of difference. 100 calories or something like that. Um, so yeah, there we go. Ready for another day tomorrow. Catch you in the next one.